There are four DNA nucleotides, A, T, C, and G, which stand for adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, respectively. The principle of complementarity states that adenine will only ever bond with thymine, guanine will only ever bind with cytosine, and vice versa, cytosine to guanine, thymine to adenine. And that's because these molecules are built to complement each other. Adenine and thymine will create two hydrogen bonds. Guanine and cytosine will create three hydrogen bonds. You should also notice that um, adenine and guanine are purines, which means they have two rings within their structure, whereas Thymine and cytosine are called pyrimidines, and they only have one ring in their structure. And purines can only ever bind, bond to pyrimidines and pyrimidines to purines, not just in DNA bases, but in all other nitrogen bases as well. Scientists discovered this unique principle because they realized that when they analyzed DNA, the adenine and thymine counts were always the same, and so were the guanine and cytosine counts. We can apply this to solving a problem. For example, if we know that 30% of DNA is made from adenine, from that number we can determine the percentages of all the rest of the nucleotide bases. Thymine is equal to adenine in its count, and so it also has takes up 30% of the DNA. Whereas once you add these two together, you have 60%, and you subtract 60% from 100%, um, because it represents 100% represents the entire DNA strand, and you have 40% left to distribute evenly between guanine and cytosine. So you can take 40%, divide by 2, and you get 20% for each of guanine and cytosine bases. And this is um, a pretty common problem that you might come across. And so remember the principle of complementarity, A always bonds with T, G always bonds with C.